They've been counting down to this day all year. Minnesota's best football teams battle for a championship in the 96 Prep Bowl. 13-0 Eden Prairie's been one of Minnesota's top-ranked teams all year, but Blaine may be a team of destiny. In the playoffs, the Bengals have beaten all three teams that beat them during the season, including defending champion Stillwater 28-7. The countdown is over. It's game time. Welcome back to the Metrodome. Four great games so far. One to go, our primetime matchup in double A. The Blaine Bengals have knocked off the number one and number three teams, taking on what's left, the number two team, unbeaten Eden Prairie. Should be a fantastic double A championship game. Jeff Grayson back at the Metrodome. Lots of defense here today. For more on what we might see tonight in double A, let's go upstairs to Ryan LaFever and Leo Lewis. You still got some voices up there? Just barely, and we've got the headset hair going. I don't know if you noticed that. We're in the headset for three games. Leo, we got a great matchup, the big one, Class AA. Let's start with Eden Prairie, 13-0, but they've never been to the prep bowl before. Oh, that's right, but they're an eager bunch. They have big offensive linemen and quick backs, and their winning game is just powerful. Blaine off to a slow start. They lost two of their first three games, but now playing very good football. Well, I tell you what, they had a chance in the playoffs to avenge all of their losses to teams that they lost to in the regular season. And uh, they're very eager also. And they beat Stillwater, so they That's deserve right. to be here in the Prep Bowl Championship. When we come back, the double-A state championship game. 982 yards, nine touchdowns, three interceptions. They go with the reverse on the first play from scrimmage. Dolan shakes a tackle, has some open field. Across the 40. Finally tackled at the Blaine 30-yard line. Joel Kunza with a touchdown saving stop. And what a beginning for the Eagles. And Fritz hands it off to Grant Sens. Off to the near side. He's inside the 10-yard line. Joe Dykoff. Third down and eight from the eight-yard line. Fritz to throw, feeling the heat to the end zone, intercepted. Joe Dykoff takes it out to the 24-yard line. Fritz had to make the stop and a big lift for the Blaine Bengals as Dykoff spoils that long Eden Prairie drive. Second down nine, Albrecht to throw, looking for Kiros. He has him across the 40, still on his feet. They call him Bear Keat, and he was bear crawling across midfield. Well, no doubt he looks like he has the agility. Basketball club. And they push it out. A nice cut back to the inside. Savageau now goes to the outside and crosses the 30-yard line. And this one is going to be from 43 yards out, and it oh. is good. Hitting the crossbar and going through. Wow. Great kick. The Stillwater quarterback five times. Fritz rolling out, going deep. And it is caught. Dolan makes the catch and scores the touchdown. 60-yard pass play, and Eden Prairie takes the lead. Savageo and Reeder back deep for the Bengals. And it's going to be Reeder. Oh, and he's leveled. Big hit by number 64, Jason Barkley. Third down and five. Flag is thrown. Albrecht rolling out. And he finds Kiros. Makes a nice move. Then is leveled by Iverson. And they give it to the Lost yardage as Travis O'Neill penetrated through the Bengal offensive line to make the tackle. Mike Grant calls them the skilled players because they have to know what to do on each and every play. The running backs and receivers work on instinct. Out to the 34-yard line is number 24, Tim Hartshorn, bringing up third down and 11. Albrecht to throw, looking for Kiros, and he's got him for a first down. At the 47-yard line, wrapped up by Kevin Carney. Prairie has to punt it away again. Eric Kalin, low, end over end kick. Kiros has it at his own 40-yard line. Nowhere to go, and he is crushed. Paul Ryan 
with a big hit for the Eagles. And they work the reverse to Kiros. Oh. Turns the corner, great block to the 40-yard line. Who is that? Is that the quarterback making a block? Wow. Albrecht to throw over the middle. Intercepted. Ryan Iverson picks it off and runs out of bounds. There you go. That's a smart thing to do. And he saw that there were no teammates around. They were all Blaine players there, so he just ran out of bounds. Their own 43-yard line now send out four wide receivers. But they give it to Grant Sent, still on his feet. Has running room, showing off that blazing speed across the 40-yard line. I tell you what, Sent may be a small running back, but he keeps his feet, has the agility to get away from defenders. Trying to work oh. the screen, it's picked off. Wow. Dave Rowan picking off Ricky Fritz, who really had no one to throw to oh. on third and six. Rolling has good protection, going downfield, wide open receiver. Dan Reeder stays on his feet, out of bounds at the 10-yard line. You have two plays to do it. Touchdown, Blaine. Ryan Olson. And the third quarter is underway. Savageo from his own two-yard line. Straight ahead, big hole. A fleet of blockers ahead of him. Out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Just the lift that Eden Prairie, or rather Blaine, was looking for to open the second half. Play football, you will not be cut at Eden Prairie High right. School. Great approach to a winning program. Big yardage for Grant Sents to the 42-yard line. The Eagles trail 9-7. Pitch it out to Sense. Cutting the corner. Touchdown! Twenty-four yard touchdown for Grant Sense. And Eden Prairie recaptures the lead. And that was all made possible by the wide receiver Jason Dolan as he cut and hooked his player to open up the sideline for Sense. Sense trying the near side. More running room. He's out of bounds at the 30, and that's close to another Eden Ferry first down. Grant Sense is taking this game over. Just being behind his shadow is going to make enough for, for Sense to run through. Yeah, Burns, number 79. He has Northwestern and Minnesota to choose between as far as his college of choice. And a big play by Brandon Jensrud. Albrecht to throw, wide open receiver, Savageo. Tackle at the 31 yard line by Ryan Iverson. Big play and a huge gain for Blaine. Oh, no doubt. Seven out of 12 on third down for the Bengals. Going deep. He's got Kiros inside the 10 yard line. Bengals, first down, goal to go from the eight. Savageo cuts back, touchdown. Great play, great execution. Great drive by Blaine. Here at the Metrodome, the Bengals on top by one. Josh Savageo tying the game. Smittle's extra point giving Blaine a one-point lead. Now Eden Prairie trying to recapture the lead. 
Reverse, nice move by Dolan. Cutting back to the inside, takes it to the 35-yard line. Pitch descents, the reverse. Now the flea flicker. Fritz going deep, has a receiver open. Sam Mossman out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Trickery for the Eden Prairie Eagles. Long count. Fritz has time. Going to the end zone. Touchdown! Ryan Iverson. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Can you believe that? Tiptoe at the end of the end zone for the touchdown. I think this is the only time Iverson's been on offense. Ritz throws it up just in time. Perfect pass. Iverson gets one foot in. That's all that's required in high school ball. And executes perfectly. What a game for Ryan Iverson. You mentioned is one of the few plays he's been on offense. He's yeah. made some great plays on defense, some big tackles. Second down, 10 to go. Albrecht rolling out, and he finds Kiros. Albrecht pump fake going deep looking for Kiros. He's open out of bounds. Oh, wow, great play. At the 14 yard line, great play fake by Albrecht, and he still threw a perfect pass. Unbelievable. Albrecht having enough time to fake and a pinpoint pass to Kiros. Again, good route running. Albrecht rolling, going to the end zone. Touchdown, Blaine! So Marvin Spencer finally has a chance to be productive in this offense. But it's as a receiver. That's right. But as they say, the more you can do, the better you're going to help that team out. Coach Nelson going to be the courageous coach. Go for two. Go for the win. Play action. Hook it up. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, it's not over yet. Still it's 55 seconds, but I do applaud the... The courage of Dave Nelson to try to go for the win. And it's not over for two reasons. You've got the onside kick and Blaine down by only one. They only need That's a right. field goal. That's right. Well, Albrecht had plenty of time. Boy. Smart play by number 30. And it's going to be fielded by Eden Prairie. Kyle Volton comes up with the kick, and that's gonna ice it for Eden Prairie. 54 seconds left. Well, Mike Grant is doused with the Gatorade jug, and that makes it official. Eden Prairie is the 1996 Class AA Minnesota football champ. As the Eden Prairie Eagles are the 1996 state champs and he's got the hat to show let's take it down to the field Jeff Grayson go ahead Jeff all right thank you very much I'm with Ryan Iverson so many heroes in this game congratulations it could have gone either way it was great it was I couldn't have asked for a better game than that better finish to a great great season for both teams the play that, that you caught, it looked exactly like the play two weeks ago against Alexandria. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I just, I get outside and Ricky puts it right there and, I mean, what can I say, it's luck, I guess, I don't know, it's just been fortunate to be in that opportunity two times in a row. How does it feel? Oh, to... this is wonderful, this is, this is better than I thought, I mean, 
It makes it better that this was a close, fun game. Blaine played great. It was. It couldn't ask for a better game than this. Get in there and celebrate. I'm going to. Thank you. Do you want a little No, no, that's okay. That's okay. He's going to pour some spray out his wound. Ryan Iverson, part of, the guy who got the winning touchdown. Wow, what a game. Absolutely, and good sportsmanship is the first thing Iverson does is acknowledge the great effort right. by the Blaine Bengals. Eden Prairie, 23, Blaine, 22.